Welcome to episode 5 of Learn Buto. This is Subtle Movement. I'm going to be going over various subtle movements. Grave, swaying, vibration, shock, pulse, and joint spring. First up we have Grave. Now we covered this already with the ash walk. This is very, very slow movement. We have swaying. In the Buto school that I attended, swaying was a big conditioning method in order to get better at the dance. There are various types of swaying you can do. In the school, we did a sort of clockwork sort of swaying. For instance, swaying from 2 o'clock to 6 o'clock, or from 12 to 6, and then changing it up. You can challenge yourself with the sways by getting on one leg, for instance. Swaying is a major meditative technique to put you in a trance, which is exactly where you want to be in Buto. We now have vibration. Look at my fingertips, vibrating. Almost like Parkinson's, you can get to that frequency if you want. Shift it over to your whole body and see what happens. See, Buto does not ignore the ugly. In a lot of dance, they go after all of the pretty things, but Buto has no shame and actually goes out of their way to go for the ugly things, the crippled, the broken. And here is a vibration on my stomach. The way in which to do this is to breathe very tiny breaths in your nose. In Kundalini Yoga, this would be called breath of fire. Super rapid, right at the base of your nose. Super rapid breaths in and out. And you can get that vibration going on in your stomach. Now we have shock. You can begin with any technique, ash walk, and suddenly just shock. And now we have Pulse. Pulse I have seen a lot in voodoo dance. And for me personally, I can get myself into a trance very quickly. And lastly, we have joint spring. And joint spring is working a lot with gravity. You're letting gravity do a lot of the work. There's a subtle spring in the joints.
then here I am putting joint spring together in a little dance. Buto is full of many subtle movements. These were just the major ones that came to my head.